The wait is over. DC fandom just unveiled the trailer for one of the most anticipated DC movies yet, The Batman. Much to the surprise of fans, many of whom were initially skeptical about a caped Robert Pattinson, the teaser revealed a dark, brutal, and gritty Bruce Wayne, which was a far cry from the sparkly vampire that Pattinson was famous or, well, infamous for. Even more shocking is the newest movie's take on the young Dark Knight when he was but a masked vigilante. Pattinson's Bruce Wayne was cruel, unkempt, and looked nothing like the Playboy version we're so used to seeing. Consider us intrigued. While Bat fans everywhere wait for the movie to finally hit the theaters in 2021, it's time for us to look at Pattinson's predecessors, measure their Batman-liness, and see who will emerge victorious. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. Today, we're doing a quick throwback to all the Batman actors in a live-action movie or series, and we're ranking them from worst to the best. Bring out the popcorn, place your bets, and see how your favorite ranked against the other Cape Crusaders. Make sure to stick around till the end of the episode to find out who made it to number one and watch out for the surprise honorable mentions scattered in this episode. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos. Ready to see who the all-time best Batman is? Let's start. At number 8, George Clooney. One word, bat nipples. Guess this Batman was just constantly cold, but okay. To his defense, we can really fault Clooney for the infamous nippled bat suit. Even the poor guy hated it. But the bat suit isn't the only thing that went wrong here. Schumacher's over the top aesthetic and the cartoonish villains didn't help either. And Clooney, well, he managed to make the Dark Knight both jokey and boring. Ultimately, Batman and Robin felt more like a sad attempt to sell toys and to recapture the 60s campiness. During one of his interviews in 2013, Clooney himself said he keeps a photo of his Batman portrayal as a reminder of how bad of a decision that was. There's no questioning that Clooney's Batman was iconic, but only if as an example of how not to do it. Surprised to see Clooney on this spot? Hang around till the end of this video because we have more surprises for you. And no, we don't mean Danny Trejo. Stop trying to make Bachete happen. Back to our list, number 7, Val Kilmer. If this were college, Val Kilmer would probably get an incomplete grade for only donning the cowl once in his career. But it's not the only reason he is perhaps one of the least remembered Batman. Given the unenviable task of replacing Michael Keaton for a third Batman movie, Kilmer sure had a tough act to follow. And while some people appreciated the smoother style he came in with, his performance just fell flat for many. He was glorious in the Wayne Tux and he had the chin for the Batman cowl. But one, he never really got the voice quite right, and two, he just failed at putting his distinctive stamp on the character. He was directed by the same Schumacher who directed Clooney, so at least he dodged that bullet and that bat-nippled suit. But we can't help but wonder how he would have played the part with a different director. Making it to number 6 is the OG Batman himself, Lois Wilson. Wilson merits at least a footnote in pop culture and DC history for being the first actor to play Madman. He starred in the 15-chapter serial film released by Columbia Pictures in 1943. Wilson holds his own, but there's little else that can be said about his performance. We understand though, being the first to put on the tights did put him at a disadvantage, having nothing more than the comics as a reference point. If the first Batman didn't get the number one spot, who do you think did? Stick around to find out. But before that, here's our first honorable mention, Olin Sol. You know, Robin, quite often people choke on a piece of food they're eating. Right, what can you do if for If you've it? never heard of him, chances are you've at least heard of his voice. From the 70s to the 80s, he was the defining voice that gave life to the Dark Knight detective in the animated show Super Friends, 
along with Batman's animated crossover with Scooby-Doo. Thanks for making our childhood awesome, Olin Soul. Okay, back to our list. At number 5, Robert Lowry. Robert Lowry is proof that though you look like you need a little more time on the treadmill, that's okay. The Batsuit will take care of the abs for you. Lowry is the second actor to play Gotham's favorite son, and his performance was a welcome improvement over Wilson's. Though not quite as memorable as the actors who followed him, he was an effective, smooth-talking Wayne, and his fight scenes made for a far more enjoyable experience. Fast forward to 2016 and 2017, at number 4, we have Ben Affleck. Next to Pattinson, Ben Affleck perhaps had to deal with the worst scrutiny from Batfans when they first learned he was given the role. But despite the online backlash, fans immediately had a change of heart after his Batman vs Superman performance. The Batfleck did well playing a character who is jaded by the physical and psychological toil of fighting crime for a long time. At some points, though, fans feel like he tries a wee bit too hard to convey that dark, rowly grit. The bulky bat suit also didn't help, but overall, Affleck's heroic but human Batman gave the character a more relatable touch. How would you rank Affleck's performance? Tell us in the comment section below. Only three more actors to go, so stick around to see if your favorite made it to number one. But first, here's another well-deserved honorable mention, Will Arnett. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. He may not have donned the cape and the cowl, but who needs a bat bod and suit when you've got the perfectly macho voice for it? After his hilariously good voice acting in the Lego movie, Warner Brothers felt he deserved a Lego film of his own. And that's exactly what they did in the Lego Batman movie. Two years later, his growly vocals made a comeback in the 2019 The Lego Movie 2, the second part. Now back to our list at number 3, we have Adam West. Adam West's Batman is the one performance that people will eternally debate on. You either loathe it or you love it. Many comic book purists are not a fan of the tongue-in-cheek campiness of both his film and TV series performances. On the other hand, others appreciate his self-satirical take and how he portrayed a man who boldly enjoys the dichotomy of being Gotham's favorite millionaire, who moonlights as a caped crusader. Whichever side you're at, there's no denying that Adam West's Batman is, to a large degree, the most iconic and influential on the list. His version actually affected perceptions of Batman so much that it influenced how the masked vigilante was written in the comic books during the 60s. No wonder he's our number one actor's favorite Batman. Before we reveal who that is, at number two we have Michael Keaton. Just like Affleck and Pattinson, Keaton's casting caused such an outrage because of his acting resume. Considering his reputation as a comedic actor, making him Batman was one of the biggest gambles made in the DC Universe. But after working with him on Beetlejuice, Tim Burton saw something in him and boy did they prove everyone wrong. Just when the franchise was already on life support, the Burton-Keaton team-up took Batman out of the Adam West zany chaos and brought him back to his rightful place, a dark and mysterious hero. His tactful approach, which moved from gloomy and brooding to absolutely wacky, exceeded audiences' expectations like no other Batman actor has. He was so confident in his role that whenever he says, What are you? I'm Batman. We believe them. We are finally down to number one, but before that, we saved the best honorable mention for last, Kevin Conroy. It's impossible to say Batman and not think about Kevin Conroy's voice. He may not have made the list officially, but Conroy's Batman is as iconic as it gets. 
His voice acting performance of both Bruce Wayne and Batman remains to be the definitive take on the character. Get out of my way, Quinn. It's not surprising, therefore, that for more than 25 years now, he's been voicing the actor in movies, animated shows, and video games. To many fans, Conroy remains to be the truest Batman of all. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! But as far as live action performances go, who is the bestest of them all? Ready for the reveal? At number one, we have Christian Bale. A lot of things worked to Christian Bale's advantage when he was given the role of Batman. One, his Batman is the only one so far to have gotten a whole character arc from being a masked vigilante and Batman begins to Gotham's villain in the Dark Knight. And finally, redeeming himself as their hero in the Dark Knight Rises. Two, he's working alongside an awesome director and brilliant actors, including the unforgettable Heath Ledger and his award-winning performance of Joker. And three, Come on, the man's a great method actor. An Oscar winner, even. His dedication to the character was evident, portraying a Batman that was a welcome change after Clooney and Kilmer's silly performances, and even Keaton's serious but less gritty take. Okay, sure, the growl he does when he turns into Batman sounds forced, and some would criticize him for taking a back seat to Heath Ledger in the second movie. Regardless, Bale quickly rose to stardom after giving Batman an intensity that has never been seen before and hasn't been surpassed since. Of these eight Batman, who do you think Pattinson's performance will be like? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, and speaking of Christian Bale, did you know he did the fight scenes himself in Batman Begins? Check out our video on craziest stunts done by real actors to find out who else did their own stunts on the big screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.